Hey guys, Roy from ANS Gear. Get out your gun because we're going to do some upgrades today. All right, uh, guys, we're going to look at the installation of the brand new GMAC frames. Uh, so we've got a couple here. We're going to open it up. Get this out of the way. The instruction manual or the this thing inside here does not have instructions on how to put it in. It just has like diagrams and parts and things like that, uh, how it works, but it does not have instructions on how to put it in. It's very, very simple though. If you're comfortable taking your gun apart in any kind of way, this should not be hard. Uh, so we have our frame right there. We have our solenoid there, and then we have a parts kit. And this is just spares right here. If, um, if your gun is in working order, there shouldn't be any real reason that you need any of the spares right away. Uh, if you have stuff that looks pretty bunk and broke, then maybe you want to change some parts out. But so we're going to take those out. Our solenoid, or our new, I don't want to call it our new solenoid, or it's kind of our three-way, our new three-way, and the frame. One thing I'll remind everybody is once we pull the electronic frame off of the gun, you are losing the safety, the electronic safety on the gun. So now we have a mechanical safety on the side. So make sure you're using that. If you are switching from an electric gun and you're not used to shooting mechanical guns, you might not realize that that's there and accidentally shoot someone. Um, so make sure that's being used. Uh, a couple things about the frame right away. You've got these two adjustment screws on the back. The one closest to the top is the spring return, the trigger return. You can see the spring inside there so that when we pull the trigger, take the safety off, the spring is gonna push it back forward. So if you want a, uh, a snappier trigger return, you can turn this in, this top screw, and that'll push harder on the trigger, pushing it back further or faster. Uh, the bottom one is uh, travel length. So if we pull this back, it actually hits the screw on the bottom right here. So if you turn this screw in, you will shorten the trigger pull, but you can adjust this to the point where the gun doesn't shoot anymore. So uh, you can play around with it. You really, you know, just set it up how you like. I mean, that's up to you. That's for the adjustments for your, your trigger right there. Uh, very straightforward. So let's take a gun. I have this one here, this Titan uh, G-Tech. We're gonna pull the parts off, put the frame on, and really just show you how simple it is to do this. So the first part we're gonna do is, is break the gun down. We're gonna strip it down, get rid of the parts we don't need. Obviously we don't need the eyes in it anymore. We do wanna make sure our detents are still there, so we don't wanna uh, pull those out. We don't need the eyes, the eye wire. We don't need the frame. We don't need the uh, electronic solenoid that is inside of it. We're gonna pull all of that stuff out and then put the new frame on. So uh, first things first, let's get the uh, the bottom of the gun off so the ASA we're gonna pull this off Pull that up and I'm just gonna pull that off complete and just set it to the side We're still gonna use the screws that came on it um, a nice thing about the new frame is This new frame is metal. It's not a composite uh, so we don't have on the new frame the little uh, nuts the square nut that these mount through it always falls out you take your grips off and the nut falls out there so we can get rid of that also i guess you can consider that part of the frame all right so that's going to come off the grips are going to come off set those over there now you can pull the battery out it's gonna, woo, it's gonna flop out anyway when you take uh, when you take that or flip it over. But there's one of the nuts. Let's set that up there. Get the other one out of there, just so you don't lose it, because it's going to fall out anyway. Set that up there. Uh, so let's disconnect our two wires first. Also, so the top two on the um, on the board is going to be your solenoid and your eye wires right there. The bottom one for your uh, micro switch is part of the frame, so we don't need to really worry about disconnecting it because it will come with the frame when we take it out. But, so let's grab that one. Lift that off. And then this one, I might, I just like to hold onto the board while I pull these up because I don't want to pull the board out as well. Even though it's all coming off right now, so it really doesn't matter at this point. But just one less thing to worry about. Now let's remove our frame. 
the frame screws that we're pulling off right now, we can reuse those with the new frame. Same with the solenoid screws that hold the original solenoid on. We can reuse those screws. There are extras of these screws in your parts kit, so if they're stripped or bad or whatever, um, you do get new ones. As we pull this off with any frame we're pulling off that has wiring in it, just be gentle. Don't yank on it. Make sure that it comes through evenly, that it's not getting pinched, because if it, you want to put this back on ever, you are going to need all these parts. Um, so don't lose them and don't destroy them. All right, so let's get the eye wires off. Take that. We're going to lift this up right there. Flip it over. Lift that up. And then from here, we can pull the eye wire out of the, the channel that it sits in and slide the eye wire through and set it down. Remember, planet guns, red eye side of the eye wire always goes on the right. Red on the right, always remember that as a rule of thumb. Um, so don't forget it. When you go to put that back together, make sure that it stays on the right side. Uh, detent is in. We can put the eye cover back on. Go ahead and tighten that down. I cover back on and tighten that down. All right, from here, Phillips. Pull that up. When we flip this off, uh, every once in a while, the two O rings that sit right here for the solenoid, the solenoid gasket O-rings, uh, they will stick to the bottom of the solenoid. So make sure that you check to make sure that they are not stuck here and that they are sitting in the body. If they are stuck to the bottom of the solenoid, pull them off, inspect them, and then put them back on there or switch them out. They are in your parts kit that came uh, with the new frame. So here's our new three-way. We've got two sides to it, basically. The side that you see sticking out the red side here, not the large red side that is inside there, but the little post side is going to stick forward on the gun. Uh, this is the part that the trigger is going to push up against. So let's take our screws. I'm going to drop them in here, just like that. I'm going to line the holes up, and then I'm going to carefully start these. I always back my screws up when it's super important like this that I don't want to cross thread anything. And I wait for it to drop and then I can tighten it down. But I don't go all, I'm not going to tighten it all the way. I'm going to go sort of the way down. Sort of the way. That's a very precise measurement, sort of the way. Because um, I don't want to put too much stress on one side. I don't want to tighten one down. It's going to cock the, uh, the housings to the side. So I kind of want to just do them gradually at the same, so tighten them as we go. And there we go. That's mounted up on there. That's it. I mean, that's the mounting of the solenoid right there. That's It's so easy. Now we're going to take our, our new frame, put it on. Take our frame screws that we pulled off a second ago, and put them on too. Take our ASA we pulled off. Put that on. That there. Take our grips. Oh, we don't need our eyes. Get back over there. our posts line up, grab our eye cover our grip screws, and go to it. Probably one of the easiest installs for something so cool that you'll ever see. There we go. That's all she wrote. 
So our safety works, safety works good. And then you can adjust through the back like we talked about. You want a shorter trigger pull, you want a snappier trigger pull, you can do all those things. That's it, man. That is the GMEC, the mechanical GTEC frame installation on a GTEC.